Hey friends, Monoducks here, just with a quick patch for you today. This is using some features that I've kind of neglected over time, so I uh, just thought I'd share what I came up with here. We have an LFO. Modulating our filter cutoff frequency. And that LFO is being modified by the ADSR envelope. And we're using the ring mod at the bottom uh, to be a VCA for the amount of that envelope that's controlling the LFO. So what I uh, have neglected to use over time is the AR generator to be uh, my main um, amp envelope for the sound itself and then using the ADSR separately as a source of modulation. And uh, another thing that I've neglected over time to do is to use the output because we have the ADSR um, by default is wired to control the the filter frequency here so I can use that um, and then still have an independent output to do something else with that same envelope and I really haven't been exploring that too much so um, I'll just talk very briefly about how this is set up I'm using my default routing for three VCOs if I turn off all my modulation I've got my usual setup in two octaves so VCO number one is the square wave and it's in the low octave. VCO number two is also square wave. By default, that's an octave up. And then the VCO three is in the same octave, but it's a saw wave, which adds some more overtones. So we'll put all three together. We got a nice rich, nice rich sound. I've cranked the reverb way up on this, and I'm going to turn my filter frequency back down so that you can hear the modulation. Now the way that this is working uh, without any modulation considered is that my audio path is uh, running into the amp controlled by the attack release envelope. So that line is up, and we're just running default values. If I turn that down, We'll have no sound. If I were to switch and use the, the default ADSR, you'd have a very different amp envelope. It'll take a long time to come in because of the attack time here. So I want I want my sound to start earlier, but I want my modulation to start later. So I'm using uh, the uh, AR, uh, AR envelope generator with the attack time turned all the way down. So I have an immediate sound but my modulation takes a little bit of time before it uh, before it comes in. I've got this on times two, so it's a nice slow envelope. And the way this is working is, of course, the ADSR by default is already controlling the filter frequency, which gives us this sound. And I'm taking that same envelope if I take that out of the mix to control when the LFO starts, so it starts a little bit later. Let me turn this up so you can hear it. Okay, and in previous videos we've talked about how you can use the ring mod as, as a separate VCA, which you need to be able to control amounts on this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the uh, LFO here, and I want that to uh, be controlled uh, by this envelope. So the LFO is going into the input, the VCO1 input on the ring mod. 
I've got my switch uh, not on audio but down to DC which gives us a, VC, a fake VCA controller. My uh, output from the ADSR envelope is going into the VCO2 input on the ring mod which is basically how I get uh, this to control this and then the output of my LFO goes in here. So if I were to play with the settings you can hear how the amount changes. Now there's no LFO. And now it's back. I take it out. And it's gone. I'm going to turn it back up. And this is essentially becomes like a depth. So I've got that turned down. So there's lots of different things that you could do with this, and I've, I've really neglected to use it and, and neglected to, to use the AR as, as my volume envelope uh, to free this up to do other things. So I'll be exploring that, um, and I'll let you know if I come up with any cool things. This almost feels like... Um, this almost feels like the intended use. Uh, so that you could have a simple AR for your volume and something much more complex to control modulation. So, very interesting. Just thought I'd share that. Hope you enjoy, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Happy patching.